Okay, guys, you can see that I've taken a warm, two warm colors, red and orange, and I've gone over all my letters with a red or orange. And then in the same rectangle as my letter, I made two little, a dot and a line of some kind. And some are wavy, some are jagged, some go around the corner, okay? And I put a little something in each rectangle with my letter. Now if my letter was red, I used orange, and if my letter was orange, I used red. So I just flip-flopped it. So it doesn't matter how many you do red, just kind of spread them out, or how many ever you do of one color. Now you could use cool colors too for this, uh, like blue or purple for your letters or numbers or shapes. And then if you used warm colors for the crayon, You'll use cool colors like blue and purple paint when we paint it in at the end. And you can see from the example I colored at the end, I, I went over with cool colors. So I created contrast with between the warm letters and the cool paint, cool colored paint, uh, to give it a contrast, which makes it really pop out from one another. Okay. So when I'm once you're done doing this, okay, you're just gonna go with a take a black crayon and you're gonna go over all of your lines. Now, you want to be careful, make sure you really are on your lines. So you're gonna trace over these. So every once in a while you gotta spin your crayon a little bit to find a sharp spot. Okay, see how it got it kind of flat there? I'm kind of wide, and that's okay. I mean, it'll it'll give it a cool look too. So just keep kind of spinning it around, okay. And the other thing you can do is take a piece of paper and kind of color and spin your crayon as you're coloring. And just like on the back of the the crayon boxes, it'll give you a point. See my point it makes now. And then you can go back in here. And if you, maybe you want to do a line at a time, and then go just up from the line. That is probably the easiest way to do it. Okay, see I'm starting to get flat again with my crayon. So I'm going to go through and do all this, and then you'll see what it looks like in the next step completed.